The Berserk class assault carrier represents one of the most successful and long serving warships in the colonial fleet, functioning as an effective force multiplier and rapid reaction vessel on the front lines. The Berserk space frame is 842 meters in length and 215 meters across. The structure follows many of the design principles applied to colonial battle stars, featuring a distinctive alligator head bow and large sublight engine block, but where the majority of battle stars feature a wide and heavily armored mid section. The Berserk spinal frame is narrow and poorly protected, presenting much of the ship's internal systems to enemy fire. The result is what many might call a glass cannon, a ship capable of greatly increasing the lethality of a battle group through strike craft and fire support, but unable to endure heavy damage itself. The weapons complement of the Berserk class is arranged for broadside attacks, sporting a number of turret batteries laid into the port and starboard exteriors of the flight deck. The ship also carries 150 marines for shipboard security and boarding actions, but these troops are rarely called to serious action, as the Berserk is best deployed away from the vanguard of a given battle. The defining and most valuable feature of the Berserk class is the ship's large underslung flight deck, arranged lengthways across the vessel's ventral hull. The deck is open at both ends and large enough to house both civilian transports and utility vessels, in addition to military strike wings and shuttlecraft. The carrier's magnetic launch tubes allow for the rapid deployment of alert fighter groups groups, and extensive maintenance facilities on deck allow strike craft to be repaired and rearmed with incredible efficiency. The Berserk class is large enough to rival a battle star in size, but the ships are almost never deployed in a command role. Their limited durability makes them poorly suited to heavy combat, but their extensive carrier capabilities and powerful Dreadus systems make them exceptional support craft. The addition of even a single Berserk class carrier to a colonial flotilla offers a powerful advantage to the larger force, often forcing hostile vessels to circumnavigate colonial formations in the hopes of striking the carrier and mitigating the threat of its fighter squadrons. Throughout the First Cylon War, the Berserk class served as a powerful asset to the forces of the colonial fleet, partaking in numerous crucial engagements against the Cylons across the Cyrenus system. The ship was so successful that it remained in service even 40 years after the war came to a close, with some examples of the class surviving long enough to fall victim to the brutal invasion that marked the outbreak of the Second Cylon War.